Hi everyone! Welcome to the Banana Stand video series about manual integration of Banana Stand into your Shopify store. This video will intro the topic of how to check to make sure you have the footer code installed. First step is to log into your Banana Stand app. Then we want to pick a tool to test. Step 2 will be to edit the tool to check its code. For step 3, we want to preview the tool live on your site by pressing the View Store Preview button. We will be taken to a product on our site, where for step 4 we can see if any notifications appear. However, we notice that none are showing. Something must be wrong in our code. For step 5, we can right-click on our website page in Chrome and click the Inspect button from the drop-down menu. A new window full of HTML code and CSS classes will appear. We can scroll through this code and see what controls which aspects on our site. We want to look for code that says Banana Stand Integration. If we don't find the code snippet that says Banana Stand Integration, then we'll need to fix it or none of our tools will work. As you saw in the video about editing your theme, we want to go to the Shopify dashboard and navigate to the Theme Code Editor. Do this by pressing Actions and Edit Code from the drop-down menu. For step 7, we want to look through our file called theme.liquid and search for any banana code. You can do this by pressing Command or Control and the F button on your keyboard and typing banana into the search bar that appears. This will highlight any code matching what we searched. If you can't find the snippet, we need to manually insert it. Navigate to www.bananastand.io slash resources and search for the article titled, Why is Banana Stand not working if I change my theme? Take notice of those two ending tags, the HTML and the body tag at the end of the file. For step 9, copy the footer snippet from the top of the article, or you can type this directly into your code. Head back to your theme.liquid file and for step 10, we'll paste or type the banana stand footer code in. Place it before those body and HTML tags and hit the save button to update our changes. For step 11, if we go back to our product page and refresh the screen, we should be able to see our changes live. If we see the banana stand integration code, that means when we integrate each of the tool snippets into our files as well, we'll see the tools working live on our site. Thanks for watching and keep your eyes open for the next video.